welcome to part five of the 10th anniversary videos. I've been on YouTube for 10 years. Um, I think it's kind of significant. I think it's kind of cool. I've done a lot in 10 years. I've gone from just silly little videos. Hey, this is a little thing that I painted the guitar right up to, I'm, I, I don't brag about this enough. Like I said in the other videos, I've been in guitar world twice. I've been interviewed in newspapers, um, uh, radio. I, I mean, this is phenomenal. I've ha I'm having a fun ride with this. So it's really kind of cool at this point in 10 years to go, hey, let's look back when I first started that first year. And uh, so I decided to pick a couple of guitars, like five guitars, and talk about these guitars because I certainly didn't realize at the time when I made these or painted them that all this stuff was going to happen. This video is about the uh, Rebel Flame guitar that I did for a buddy of mine. And uh, I also did the 5150, like I said in the other video. So these are both J. Terser Mini Les Paul guitars. These are kind of cool. Neat little things. My buddy had these guitars and he wanted me to do something with them. He thought, hey, you know, you're getting in uh, painting guitars and building guitars and doing some cool stuff. So, you know, he just handed these guitars to me. In fact, the uh, guitar that I showed in the tribal video, the, uh, the, the Tobacco Burst Epiphone, he actually gave me that guitar because I painted these for him. He, he didn't pay me anything for these. I, I think I even bought the paint. He, I haven't said anything to him. I, I was just like, yeah, this is fun. I'm, I'll paint some guitars for you. Um, and then a little while later, he, you know, I don't know when it was, like a year later or something like that, um, I go to his house and he goes, yeah, here's a guitar for you. So let's talk about this guitar. So again, my friend gave me this guitar, painted up. Um, it was a lot of fun. Every project I do is fun, but you know, this one, some are more fun than others for different reasons. And this was just pure fun because it, it's such a colorful guitar and a striking guitar and an unusual guitar. I mean, it's got beer caps nailed to the front of the guitar. How cool is that? When I made this guitar, or when he gave me this guitar, it was a kind of a dirty plum color. It was not very uh, nice at all. Uh, oh yeah, the uh, it was missing pickups. And he went down to uh, a local shop here. And apparently these pickups are from a uh, 79 uh, Ibanez Destroyer. And I played this guitar and they sound really nice. I believe it because it's got a super nice sound. Um, so that's just kind of an interesting fact. It's not just a neat looking guitar, but it actually does uh, kick some butt. Um, but anyway, uh, I stripped the finish off completely and because I wanted to replicate uh, these wear marks. To do that properly, I had to take it down. You, you wouldn't want to see plum showing through from the bare wood to the Rebel Flag uh, graphic. So uh, I stripped it down, the front, back, and... Uh, I painted the back black because I didn't realize at the time that uh, Zach Wilde's guitar is, is um, I don't want to say natural finish, but uh, it must be just stripped because I know it's it started off as a black guitar. He said that it used to be a black guitar, so he must have just stripped the finish because it's just mahogany, just clear mahogany. I started painting the, the flag on here and uh, ha had a lot of fun wearing these marks out just like how Zach Wilde's guitar is, how it's all sanded off. And uh, there's one interesting thing I find interesting that even my friend does not know about, or at least he's never said, but I've made kind of a mistake with this guitar. Because like I said in the other video about the 5150 guitar, because this is a mini, the scale is different. All the, all the pickups and the bridge and everything are standard size, and then the body is shrunk down to this mini size. So when you go to put graphics like this on here, it changes where things are going to be. So when I looked at the original picture, I noticed that where one of the stars is down here on Zach Wilde's guitar, it's completely missing. So when I was painting this and taping up the stars, I figured, well... Um, I don't really need to worry about that star. I'm not even going to bother taping it up. I'm not even going to bother putting, cutting out masking tape in a star shape and putting it here because it's going to get sanded away anyway. Because of the shape of the guitar, you really should see part of a star here. Um, it doesn't really notice. 
Uh, I think it actually looks better without it, because if you were to compare this to Zach Wilde's, you'd be like, well, why is there a star here and his doesn't? But anyways, I think it looks pretty cool. And uh, actually, my buddy put the beer caps on. And Zach Wilde's are all rusty. And I told, I told my friend, I said, you know, take some beer caps and just throw them out in your driveway for like a month and drive over them and the rain will get them rusty and they'll look like his, but he didn't. And they're kind of still brand new looking. But they're kind of cool. They're not all exactly like, like Zach Wilde's. So what does he have on here? He's got some Carling, a Heineken, a Moosehead, Budweiser, some Canadian, obviously. Lakeport, that's another Canadian brand. But over the years, this thing has gotten a little wear and tear, I can see. Some, some, uh, some belt buckle rash here. But with a guitar like this, it's really not going to... It's only going to help it. It's only going to make it age better. So the story behind this guitar, uh, at least how Zach Wilde tells it, is uh, he had this guitar, the Les Paul, uh, it was a black Les Paul, and he painted the, the rebel flag on the front uh, because he likes southern rock. And then uh, a few years later, I guess, uh, uh, Brett Michaels had a, uh, a guitar with the rebel flag on it, and he thought, oh man, people are going to say I have a, they're going to make fun of me because I have a Brett Michaels guitar. So he started to sand off sections and play with it and put the, the, uh, the beer caps on it. And then apparently, I thought this was made up. I, 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 this is, I guess, Zach Wilde said this. I read an article where it's supposedly him saying this, but Ozzy had one of the roadies take this guitar outside and light it on fire. And that's why it's burned. And uh, Gibson actually replaced the neck uh, for Zach Wilde. I guess that's about all I can say about this guitar. Uh, it was a lot of fun, and it's a lot of fun to look back at it, and, uh, you know, subscribe because I've got one more video coming up, and I'm really looking forward to that. I've always wanted to do a standalone video about this guitar, so the, these 10th anniversary things, uh, it's, it's a perfect uh, opportunity to, uh, to do it. And I think I'm probably going to do a two-parter because the, uh, the machine gun guitar is my first guitar that I ever made and there's a a big story at least I think there is a very interesting story about why I built it and how I built it and when I built it and things like that and a lot of talk about uh, the comments that have been on the the uh, the page or the the video since so uh, that's gonna be a really fun one to do I'm looking forward to that that won't be until December so um, Subscribe to my channel so you catch that and check out the rest of my stuff because I've got new stuff You wouldn't even believe what I do. I, I experiment with guitars if you haven't seen my stuff um, You know, it's I make guitars out of hockey sticks at stop signs and I ex experiment and make all kinds of crazy things and cool paint jobs and you know different things all the time, but anyways uh, Facebook uh, Instagram, Twitter, Johnny B Guitars. Just Google Johnny B Guitars. That stuff should come up. So this is this is a lot of fun. I'm having a good time with this, and uh, I hope you are. I hope you enjoy watching this and enjoy watching the others and the other videos. And and uh, we'll see you in the next video.